and welcome back. If you are new, my name is Robin, and today I'm going to share with you how I've styled some of my thrifted decor. You guys know how much I love going to the thrift store. I mean, like, I could go to the thrift store every single day and be one very happy lady. <laughs> and as much as I love to go thrifting, I love to bring those items home and to decorate with them. And then I enjoy very, very much being able to share that decor with you guys. So that is what I'm going to do with you guys today. I'm going to very casually take my camera and bring you around my house and share with you what I have changed up recently from the items that I've brought home from the thrift store, which I have shared with you on my thrift store Thursdays lately. I have changed up a few things in my kitchen, living room, dining room, and one thing in my bedroom. There isn't a whole lot of spring yet, but there are some spring touches that are slowly sneaking in to my decor. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So we're going to start in the kitchen today, and this is an area that I change up quite a bit. I just took down all of my Valentine decor. So this is what I've got for right now until I actually decorate for spring. So let's talk about the stuff hanging from the shelf. I think this is really fun. So underneath the shelf, I have these little hooks, and of course, I have kept my gingham aprons. I love these aprons. I think they're so awesome. So I like to keep those. I keep them up here pretty much all year round or I'll switch them out with other ones. So I have a couple of spring light ones that I'll probably switch them out for when I actually decorate for spring, but I have yet to do that. I'm trying to resist, but I have changed a few things. I've added this little guy right here, which is a vintage hand mixer. I love these. I think they are so much fun. Let's see if I can give you a close-up. There we go. This is a white-handled one. I also have a black-handled one, which I will probably get out and hang on this hook over here, but I need to find it still. I have to dig it out. Um, the other thing I have here that I just added is this um, flower sack. Um, a wonderful subscriber sent it to me, and I've been trying to figure out how to use it in my decor, and I had a brainstorm the other day to add it to a vintage hanger and just hang it on a hook. And I think it looks really cute. Here's the hanger. I've had it for a long time. I found this at the thrift store years and years ago. And it's like the pant style kind, I think. And then I just stuck the grain sack in there. And I've got a little hook in the back here so that it will lay flush against the wall. It's just a command hook, a clear one that I've got stuck on the back of my shelf. And this hangs there super nicely. So I think that looks adorable. All right, so then we have the things on top of the shelf. The big chalkboard I've had up here probably since December when I first found it. I absolutely love it, but it will probably be coming down for the springtime. I'm not quite sure yet, but I have a few little things up here that are new to me that I want to share with you. Like I said, I haven't decorated fully for spring yet. This is just kind of what's left over after I took away all of the Valentine decor. The first new things are these adorable little cups. These are by Fire King, I think. And I believe this is the Primrose pattern, which I absolutely love. I have two mugs, as you can see, and I've just stacked them here with a little bit of grass in the one of them. And then I have this one over here. This is a different pattern. I think this, this is by Fire King as well. This is a different pattern, which I don't know the name of, but it's got little red flowers on it. So of course I had to add that into this mix as well. Um, that I believe is a sugar bowl and it doesn't have the lid, or at least I didn't find it with the lid. <laughs> and then we have this beautiful book here in the front. It's a nice linen book with a nice little red pop on the spine, and I absolutely love it. I think it is gorgeous. And on top of that, I have this adorable bowl that I found at the thrift store, and I am absolutely in love with it. It's so farmhouse to me, and I think it is so fun. Love the ridged or ribbed um, detailing on the side. I think that it's really neat. And I have just put in this a little plant that I picked up at Ikea. This, I believe, is considered an asparagus fern, and I think it was under $5. I picked up three of them, and I absolutely love them. 
and want to go back and get some more. I think they are so much fun. I love how they kind of trail over the sides of the container and I think they look so pretty. So I'm loving those. So if you're uh, going to be going to Ikea anytime soon, look for these cute little plants. I love them. I think they're adorable. Then off to the side over here, I do have two new things as well. First one is this adorable little tea cup or tea kettle, coffee kettle, I don't know. It's a child's toy. I found it at an occasional sale and I absolutely fell in love with it. It's a little bent and wonky looking, but I love it. I think it is so cute. So I'm definitely on the hunt for more like children sized, um, what do you call it, bakeware and stuff like that. I think it is such a fun thing to add into the mix of other things in my kitchen. I think it is so much fun. So on the lookout for that, it would be really awesome if I could find a like red and white like tin set. I've seen a few online, but I've not found them yet in the wild, but I've got my eyes out for it. So <laughs> I'll be looking for that. All right. So then the other thing that I have that's new is this bottle up here. I recently found this. I fell in love with it. Um, I don't know, it's got like a slight green tinge to the glass, which I thought was lovely. I love the fact that it's got this little, um, you know, thumb holder or whatever up here on the top. So I thought that was really fun. It would look really pretty with some, you know, spring stems in it or some branches, something like that. So I don't know, I just thought it was cute and lovely. And I like it just plain with nothing in it as well. So I think it adds a little bit of rustic, sparkle which I think is kind of nice into the mix. I feel kind of really ridiculous sharing with you my style finds because I'm kind of in like I said I'm in the transition between taking down my valentine stuff and putting up spring stuff so here are the cubbies that I normally have decked out and totally decorated but I don't at the moment but I wanted to share with you what I actually have up here and um, because these are both new items you would have seen these in my valentine decor um, cause I did find them a couple weeks back. Um, and I just am in love with all three of these items. The first one being this just crazy over the top vase that I absolutely fell in love with. I love the pink. I love the white roses and leaves on it. I think it was just so pretty. So I picked that up and then I also picked up these pink bowls. <laughs> I mean, what? I don't understand. They just make me smile and they make me laugh. When I bought them, they were in a bag with some other salt and pepper shakers, which I'll share with you later. And this one I knew was broken. His head was broke off and his foot was broke off, but both pieces were in the bag. So I bought it anyways, thinking if I couldn't fix it, at least I'd have one adorable looking pink bowl. <laughs> so I was able to fix this one put back on his head, put back on his leg with a little bit of Gorilla Glue. <laughs> it worked perfectly. So I'm very, very, very excited about that, but I'm definitely afraid that I'm going to break him again. He seems very, very fragile. But I love these guys so much. And I think they are just adorable. So I left them up here in my little cubbies and I'll probably try to work it into my spring decor, even though I'm not quite sure how I'll do it. I'll probably just add them regardless if they go or not because they just make me smile so much. I wanted to share with you this quick little corner that I have got going on right now. I have my vintage um, coffee pot, which I absolutely love, sitting over here. It's just sitting on top of a round cutting board that I made for myself. And, I, and it's sitting on top of our air fryer, which I have tucked into this corner because I don't want it to take up space on my counters. And it works perfectly over here. So I figured I could decorate the top of it, right? So I have the cutting board and then I added um, the coffee pot. And then I have this little bell. It's a little hotel bell. Um, it's a, just a plastic base with the metal top. I recently found it at the thrift store and I absolutely love vintage hotel bells. Well, I love this one because of course it's got the red on it. <laughs> so I've added this here and sometimes I use it to ding. I'll ding it and um, call everyone to dinner. So that's kind of fun. And this container right here is actually a arrangement that I've had put together since Christmas. I used it for my Christmas home tour it was sitting on the counter in my kitchen and it had like you know winter greenery in it and stuff like that 
And so, of course, I removed that, and then I just kept the flowers, and I thought it looked really pretty, still just like that. So I tucked it over here to add a little pop of red in the corner, and I think it looks really nice. And it's in a old tobacco tin, which I think is really fun, that I love that I found. I don't know, I found it quite a while. You guys probably remember that tin, because I use it all the time now, because it's got my colors. It's got the red, and it got the black, and the white, and it's just absolutely perfect for my house, so <laughs> I like to use that. Another thing I did in my kitchen is change up the decor that I have on top of my refrigerator. I love my vintage appliances so much, but they're big, they're bulky, and they're heavy, so I have a hard time finding places in my kitchen to display them, and I thought, maybe I should try on top of my refrigerator, and I am loving how it turned out. I've got my blender on the one side and my mixer on the other side, and then I have a scale in the middle. I have this scale propped up on top of a lidded enamelware container, which I found at a thrift store. Oh wait, I found that at the flea market this last year, and I love it. So I thought that was a nice little piece to put in with the whole black and white theme that's going on up there. I may add a few more things like in the front here, uh, and possibly something on top of the scale, but I just did this yesterday, so it's a, it's a display in the making at the moment, but I mean, it could sit just like this, but I kind of want to add a few little spring touches, maybe some flowers or something like that. I'm not quite sure. So we shall see, we shall see, but I thought this is a good bones of a display and it's working very nicely up here <laughs> on top of the fridge. Another thing that I recently added to my kitchen is this little guy right here. I recently found it at the occasional sale that I went to and I love it so much it's gonna be hard to see but it is a double match holder and it's made out of wrought iron and I absolutely love it so I have added that to here and I think it looks awesome and then over here you may see I've got a trivet it's turned back side around because of these feet I need to add a different nail here because it's supposed to look like this. And I think it looks absolutely gorgeous hanging here as a piece of like, like, almost like a piece of sculpture. But right now I can't get it. I don't have a long enough nail. So I need to fix that. But in the meantime, I decided I was just gonna hang it up here anyways, backwards. And I think it looks cool. Here's a better look at the match holder. Isn't it just gorgeous? I love it so much. And then here's a closer view of the trivet that I have hanging on the wall. <laughs> it's kind of silly that it's backwards, but you know what? You do what you got to do until you get, a, get the time to make it work correctly. So that's how it's going to be for a bit until I get to it. The one other thing to share with you in my kitchen is a recent find, and it is this right here. It is a little cookie cutter with a red handle on it. And it's got this cute little fluting along the side, which I think is awesome. So I tucked it into this little crock, or it's a little mug actually, that I have a few other red-handled kitchen utensils in. I have a cute little sprig of baby's breath, and then I have other red-handled er, cookie cutters kind of sitting in front. I've got my little Scotty Duck one and my Diamond one, and the whole thing is corralled on top of my vintage scale and I think it looks really nice. All right, so moving into the dining room on my plate racks, as you can see, I haven't done much anything different here. I did have a tray that was here that was a Christmas themed tray. So I removed that and I removed some candles and I added these cute little Ikea succulents. These are like, I don't know, $2 or something like that at Ikea. And they are so cute. They come in the little white pots. I just think they're adorable. Um, I will try to link these down below for you if you would like. And so I just have two of those sitting there. I think it adds a nice little pop of greenery into the mix for right now. In the corner of my dining room, I have this vintage style record player, which is actually my daughter's. She's let me use it for quite a long time. I kind of consider it my, mine now. <laughs> But I have added this adorable circle clock, which I recently found at the thrift store, or I know, occasional sale. This thing is so cool. I absolutely love it. I think it is the coolest thing ever. 
So I've added into this mix here, I've placed down a little doily, added the clock, and then I added this little arrangement, which I've had made years ago. <laughs> I just kind of keep moving it into different containers. I have this crock right here that my grandma made, and it's just white flowers or white, white roses and boxwood clippings, and I think it looks really cute. And then I have it next to this gorgeous lamp that I absolutely love. This is from Hobby Lobby, and I think the whole mix is really cute for this little area. So on my side table in my dining room, I have this display, which is a combination of things that are left over from my Christmas decor and some newer items as well. Um, the silver tray I used at Christmas time, that's been here ever since. And then I placed this beautiful flower arrangement, which is in a soup tureen in front of it. This arrangement is left over from Christmas as well. At Christmas time, I had, you know, greenery, Christmas greenery in here. So I removed that and then put in these little faux boxwood and little berries in the little areas that were kind of bare <laughs> from the Christmas stems. And I think it turned out absolutely beautiful. And then I placed it on top of an iron stone platter. Now this platter, that's the second platter here, is a new platter that I wanted to show you guys because I recently found it at the thrift store. I think it was only like $3. And it's an English iron stone, which I absolutely love. So I thought layering them together would add a nice little look. And then a little added something is lately I picked up some more cow takes at an occasional sale. So I've thrown them in here, one on each side, just to use them as decor until I use them on some more house beads, which I haven't gotten to that. And then I just have some simple candlesticks and some battery operated taper candles. And I think the whole thing looks rather nice. On the other side table in my dining room, I just put in this pitcher filled with gorgeous tulips. I just got these delivered. I bought them off of Amazon after I watched somebody on YouTube um, highlight them. I cannot for the life of me remember her name. I am so sorry. If I can remember, I will leave it down below. But she was talking about how lovely these tulips, they are faux tulips are, and she was absolutely right. Look at these. Oh my gosh, you guys, these are so amazing. They are, they look like real tulips. And I just love them. So I bought a bunch. I bought yellow and pink and two bunches of white. And I absolutely love them. I think they're so cool. I will link them down below in the description box along with anything else that I know of a link for that I'm showing you guys today. So I just love these. I think they are absolutely gorgeous. Um, I first bought the white ones. And then they came, and then I was obsessed. So then I went and bought another package of white. Like, this whole bunch comes in one package, and I think that's pretty cool. And the price is not too bad. I think it's under $20, if I remember correctly. And then I went out and bought some pink and some yellow as well. <laughs> so I'm loving these, and I love the fact that they look so real. And now I don't have to go out and spend my money frivolously on fresh tulips when these look like fresh tulips, and I can use them year after year. So I'm pretty excited about that. So on my hutch, I've switched things around on my winter hutch display just a little bit to add a few new items that I wanted to incorporate right away. The first thing being this adorable cloach. Oop, just knocked it over. I picked it up at Ikea. It's the small version. I think they have, they have one more size that's much larger. I just like the little t the little guy, and I did have a bigger cloche already, so I thought it would be nice to have one big and one small one. And then, <laughs> here's another one of those cute little succulents. So I just added him in here underneath the cloche and added it into the mix here, and I think it looks really cute. So I'm loving that. The other shelf on my hutch that I switched up is the one right above it, actually because I wanted to add my new vintage clock into the mix. I love this thing so much. Um, I basically just removed a tray like this because I had two double trays here with this photo behind it. So I removed one of the trays, added the clock, added this little bowl full of succulents, which I think is cute. And oh, I put a little bird's nest on this guy right here 
just because I didn't know what to do with it. So I'm just seriously just plopped it there. And it looks fine for now. <laughs> because I don't want the tray to be all filled up with stuff. I just want to look at the beautiful tray. So I think this makes a cute little arrangement. So I'm loving the new clock, of course. Plus, it's fun to be able to use these old photos that I found at, um, and where did I find those? At an antique store. I have some other ones as well that I have used around the house. Uh, let me show you the other one. It's above on the next shelf. There's one right there. You probably remember this from my winter home tour, but I just love, I mean, look at that frame. It is so cool. And then I have another one over here, and I love the frame on this one. So Art Deco, I think it looks so cool. So I don't know, I'm just loving those photos so much, and it's really kind of fun to find a way to use them. So that is what I have changed up in my hutch area. So now let's go over to my roll top desk. The bottom section's looking a little bare since I took all of my Valentine decor out and I haven't replaced anything, but I wanna share with you the newer items that I found out while thrifting that I have in the back cubby areas, which I think are so fun. And then we'll talk about the top shelf next. So in here, I have a few things that are newer these little houses i think are absolutely adorable if you remember i bought a whole box of them and i have another one sitting over here <laughs> i think he's so cute and i just love them so much um so those two houses are new to me as well as this little picture right here i found this one when i found the other ones that i shared with you on the hutch um, a lot of you thought this might be me, but it is not. I wish I looked that cute <laughs> when I was a little kid, but I just thought she was adorable, and I like the little white frame that she's in. So on the roll, on the top of the desk, the new things that I have added, I think, is this little house and this milk glass container that I have another one of these little Ikea plants in. I just love these, you guys. I think they are awesome. So I have that in there. I think it looks nice and airy and nice. And then I had my baby Bible collection over here before for my winter decor, but I've recently added two more books. I have this one and this one, and they are both Book of Hymns from 1921, and I just think they are so cool. So I've added these into the mix as well, and I just love this little collection. <laughs> so I'll probably be using that for a while and I have this little bell which I thrifted and another one of these little houses and then I have two Bibles here in the front that I just have tied together with a little bit of vintage lace and I think it looks so cute. So I'm this little table um, sitting next to my armchair in my living room. It sits right in front of my windows which makes it very hard to film. I have this cute little grouping. I've had this grouping for a while but I just love it. I think it turned out so nicely that I just don't want to change it up. Um, I started with these flowers that I got from Hobby Lobby. I think they're so pretty. Put them in a tin bucket. And then I layered that on top of a wood plate. And then I have a doily in front. And then this little guy right here, this little plant, is actually from Hobby Lobby as well. And then I added a little wooden church that came in that set of little wooden houses. I just love these, you guys, they're so fun. Then I have a new metal um, thrifted um, oil lamp, and I think it is so cool. I love it. And then I layered that on top of a tin that I found while I was out antiquing. It's black and gold, and it's a pipe smoker's kit, and I just love it. It's nicely, you know, aged and all that. So I use that as a riser in the back to hold up my little oil lamp. And I think this whole vignette turned out really nice. I just love it. So this table actually has a shelf down below and I forget to share what I put on this all the time. So I have kept it super simple right now. I have a vintage cigar box with the little pop of red that I have found at an occasional sale, um, sitting in front of this wooden box. It's a little file box, 
and it's rather old. It looks nicely distressed. So I put it there for a little pop of warm wood tones with the little cigarette, or I'm sorry, cigar <laughs> tin in front of it. And I think it looks really nice. I've made a few changes to the area above my sofa in my living room as well. These two picture frames are filled with some pages from a book from a thrift store that I found. It was one of those, you know, how to paint watercolor books. I use these for my winter decor, so you probably remember them. I haven't changed them up. But I wanted to point out, which I didn't do back then, is that they were from the watercolor books that I found at the thrift store. And I think it is a, such a good idea to keep an eye out when you're looking through those old books at the thrift store for books like that. Um, because they a lot of times have a lot of really cool pictures inside of them. And then also a thing to look for are like animal books and like um, geography books, that sort of thing. A lot of times they have really cool pictures which you can take out and frame and have beautiful artwork. So I think this is a really cool idea. I found two watercolor books and it has a whole range of, you know, every season kind of um, artwork in it and I think I paid four dollars so I'm pretty pleased with that and I think they're absolutely beautiful so the shelf above my sofa is pretty much the same as it was at my home tour my winter home tour um, I have added a few new things into the mix but I also have a lot of new to me items that I used to create this look so I want to um, highlight those today for sure so we're going to start over here on the right hand side of the shelf because both this lantern and this oil lantern are both new to me um, in the last couple of months. And I absolutely love both of them. This one is awesome because it's got this cool shape to it and a cool little handle. And I love this one because it's a sh kind of squat and just adorable. And I love the, how tarnished the um, metal part of it is. So I was super excited to find both of these to add into this mix. And of course, you guys know how much I love <laughs> my oil lamps lately. The uh, only thing I've done differently on this shelf above the sofa is to add a few things right here in the middle. Everything else is the same that I've had from my winter decor, but I added these little pots of grass. These are from Ikea and I love them. I think they're so cool. I've had a couple of these already, so I picked up two more. And I didn't know where to put them, so I plopped them up here. And I'm like, oh, wow, that looks amazing up there. So I left them up there. And they've been up here like three, four weeks now. And I love it. So I thought that was great. And these little pots look so pretty. And like, um, if you can find pots that are big enough, like creamers or milk glass, they look gorgeous in those. So keep that in mind when you're out and about looking at milk glass for little, you know, grasses to grow or to either grow in them like real grasses like cat grass looks adorable but you can go the faux way like this i know ikea and hobby lobby both have really nice looking grasses and i just i don't know i love grasses and i think they look great so they're a nice little kind of a structural um accent to add to your decor and then the other thing that i added I don't know if you're going to be able to see these very well, but I have these adorable little salt and pepper shakers, which I found at the thrift store. I found these with those pink bowls. If you remember, I showed you them earlier. Look at this guy. He's so adorable. So I added that one here. There's the tan one that goes on this side. And then the little black and white one. Oop, there we go. And then the little black and white one. <laughs> Isn't he just adorable? I've placed him on the other side. And I think they are so adorable. So those are the changes that I've made up here for now until springtime comes. And then off to the left hand side, we have a new item as well. And it is this big chunky dictionary. I was so thrilled to find this, you guys. I have been looking for big chunky books and this one I found and fell in love with. I love that it's got like this distressed black cover on it. It's got pages, like the edges of the pages are like this 
I don't know, grayish green color, which I think will be really pretty to use during the summer months. And oh, I just, I love the gold on the black. I think that is just so pretty. So that was a great find. One other thing that I did in the living room is to add this wreath to my corner hutch. I think it adds a nice spring-like touch. Um, this wreath is actually from Hobby Lobby. I bought it, oh, I don't know, probably three, four years ago. And it is still my favorite wreath to get out. I use it all year round, but I really love it in the spring. So then in my bedroom, I have one thing to show you. I just restyled my bedside table and I just love how it turned out. I put in one of my vintage clocks. This is at my absolute favorite one. I just love this detailing on the side and it fits perfectly on this rather small um, side table. So I added that and then I added this cute little arrangement right here. This is just a little pick that I picked up from Michael's I think last year and I have it in this little glass jar and I think it's a cute little little something special. I love that this jar has the starburst on it. I think that is so cool. What I'm excited to share with you is this right here. This is new to me. I picked it up at Hobby Lobby and I am absolutely in love with it. It looks like a lamp, but it's actually a candle holder. Inside, there's a spot for a pillar candle, but I have just been using a tea light. These little guys right here are perfect because they burn for about four hours. I'll light one at night, put it in here, and it puts out this pretty glow all over, and it's just so gorgeous, and I love it so much. And then once the wax is all used up in the tea light, it just goes out. So I don't have to worry about like blowing out the candle or anything like that. So it is absolutely perfect. I absolutely love it. I put a candle in it every single night when I go to bed. And oh, I just love this so, so much. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I had so much fun sharing with you what I've done with those wonderful thrifted decor items that I've brought home from the thrift store. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. If you're new, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. I like to do decorating videos similar to this every single week. And then I also on Thursday share a thrift store Thursday video in which I share with you all the fun and exciting things that I picked up while thrifting throughout the week. Well, my friends, that is going to be it for me today. I hope you guys have a fabulous day and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye now.